Today was Carver Day over at the one and only George Washington Carver National Monument in Diamond, Missouri. KOM's Bronte Sorotsky checked out this year's celebration. For 78 years, the town of Diamond has been honoring a Southwest Missouri man whose legacy reaches across the nation. While he may best be known for his 300 uses for the peanut, George Washington Carver did so much more than that. Earlier on Saturday, the George Washington Carver National Monument in Diamond hosted Carver Day to honor the scientist's life. He's best known for uh, promoting crop rotation. See, in the south, the soil uh, on the farms were becoming uh, uh, very exhausted through the overplanting of cotton. So he was uh, a big proponent of um, alternate crops. Carver Day is the monument's annual celebration of George Washington Carver's life and all he's done for society. I think the importance of remembering Carver is remembering his struggles, remembering his dedication. I mean, this man was deeply dedicated to alleviating poverty and feeding human beings. The event to remember Carver included guided tours of the Carver Trail, a ranger giving a presentation on who the scientist was, and Lem Shepard performing songs dating back to Carver's lifetime. He is just an outstanding interpreter of African-American roots music. For Shepard, it's all about looking at Carver's life through music. Way down in Egypt land, I wanted to kind of bookmark his lifetime with what was around when he was born and towards the end of his life, what were people uh, listening to, and to kind of get an idea of the range of his life in music. He says he wants to show people that there's more to the inventor. I always want to show the other side, you know, just the guy that maybe went home after work and maybe went to a show. Which is why songs he played at the event were ones Carver himself would have listened to. In Diamond, Bronte Sirotsky, KUAM News.